Tired of the same Linux desktop? Here's your two-minute showdown. GNOME vs. KDE Plasma vs. Deepin so you can choose your ideal environment. GNOME, minimalist, clean, distraction-free interface. Ideal for productivity-focused users and newcomers. Limited, deep customization, mostly themes and a handful of extensions. KDE Plasma, ultra-customizable. Panels, widgets, colors, layouts, everything's tweakable. Major new features in 2025. Floating panels, HDR support, colorblind filters, fingerprint login. Richest app ecosystem. Dolphin, console, Crunner, Discover, KDE Connect. Great for power users who want full control. Deepin, sleek Mac OS style look and fluid animations, very polished UI. Centralized settings through its control center and visually appealing themes. However, OpenSUSE removed DDE in May 2025 over serious packaging and security violations involving DBUS and pull kit bypasses via Deepin Feature Enable. Best run on modern hardware and with caution due to ongoing security concerns. Which one's for you? Choose GNOME if you want simplicity, stability, and focus. Choose KDE Plasma for maximum flexibility, productivity, and hardware support. Choose Deepin only if you prioritize beauty and UX, but be aware of its security history. Closing shots, quick side-by-side desktop clips, voiceover, there's no winner, just what fits you best. Want a breezy desktop? Go GNOME. Need a powerhouse? KDE's got your back. Love slick design? Deepin might, but watch those security flags. Try them via live USB, tell us which you picked, and don't forget to subscribe. That's your dynamic, informative, short, fast-paced, viewer-friendly, and powered by recent reliable reporting. Feel free to tweak pacing or on-screen cues.